Hi, I'm Dan from Storage Made Easy, and I want to show you some of the cool things you can do when you put our enterprise file fabric in front of Amazon S3. The first thing I want to show you is how you can automatically keep a real-time archive copy of your S3 data on another cloud. This is our dashboard page where we set up storage providers. S3 is already set up. I'm going to add a new provider now. I'm going to make it the backup for Amazon S3 and I'm going to select box.net. I could do that with any storage cloud. Now, Storage Made Easy will go out to box.net with your credentials that you provide for your account, and it will obtain permission to write to your storage there. And from now on, every time I write a change to my S3 storage, that same change will be written to my backup provider. But if I delete anything from my S3, the file will remain on my backup provider in case I need to get it back. So now you can see that Storage Made Easy has connected successfully to Box and it is beginning the process of synchronizing the files between S3 and Box. So we'll have a starting point for our backup. And now we go back to our dashboard and you see that the S3 provider is still there. But now if you scroll down a little bit, there's a backup provider for S3, and that's the provider we just made. The next thing I want to show you is how you can lock or unlock an S3 file uh, manually. When a file is locked on Storage Made Easy, then other Storage Made e Easy users won't be able to edit it until it's unlocked. I'm showing you how you can do this manually, but bear in mind that when you use any of our web editor integrations or any of our integrations with desktop editors like the Office products, for example, then the locking and unlocking is done automatically. So here we are in our web-based file manager, and I'm going to navigate down in one of my S3 directories and pick a file, and with a right click, I can lock it, and that will keep other Storage Made Easy users from updating that file or changing it until it's unlocked. Then when I want to unlock it, just another right click, and the lock is removed. Now I'm going to show you how your S3 storage can appear as a drive on your desktop. I'm going to show you on a Mac OS desktop, but the same thing will work on your Windows machine. So I'm going to show you this drive feature using that same directory we've been working with. I'm going to bring it up in my OS X finder. And you can see there's the same two files we were working with before. And if I double click on one of them, which happens to be a Word document, it will open up in Word, just like if it was being opened from local storage. So next, let me show you how you would set up a sync between an S3 directory and a directory on your laptop or desktop. So let me bring up the Storage Made Easy Sync configuration screen. And I need to pick a pair of directories. I need to pick a directory on my S3 storage, on my cloud storage. So in this case, I'm going to pick that same directory we've been working with. And then I also need to pick a directory on my laptop, my local storage. And S3 is going to keep the two of them in sync. Now, after I add this as a pair, I want to set up the frequency with which the sync will be done. I could have it done pretty much all the time in the background. But instead, I'm going to set this up to get done once a day at 7 o'clock in the morning. And now my laptop directory and my S3 directory will be kept in sync. Next, let me show you how your S3 files can look on your phone or on your laptop. So I'm going to show you this using my Android phone, which I have displaying on my laptop screen so I can record it. But it would be the same if you were doing this with a, a Blackberry or an iPhone or a Windows phone or an iPad. Uh, I bring up the SME Cloud File Manager. I choose my S3 storage. I navigate through the S3 storage to the bucket we're working in, and finally down into the directories we've been looking at, and there are my files. And from here, I can download these files or open them with applications as if they were on my phone. Next, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can share an S3 file with someone by creating a link that lets them download the file. So just navigate to the S3 file that you want to share and click on the little link symbol and Storage Made Easy will generate a link. 
and click on the copy button and now you have that in a buffer where you can paste it into an email. I'll show you how it would work for the person who receives it by pasting it right into my browser. As you can see, you enter the link that Storage Made Easy generated for the S3 file and you get a download box and you can save the file. Now I'm going to show you another example of how you can share an S3 file with SME by creating a link, but this time we're going to do it from the Mac OS desktop finder instead of from the web browser, and we're going to make this a secure link that's protected by a password. So using my Mac OS finder, I find that S3 directory, and I navigate to the file that I want to share, and I right-click on it, and I get SME options for the file. I'm going to pick the option to share a link, and then I get a dialog box. In that dialog box, I will enter the password that I want to use to protect this link. Then I click share, and the link is copied into my buffer, just like before, so I can put it into an email. And there's also a shortcut for doing this where SME will generate the email for you. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to show you how you can use SME to search the contents of the files that you've stored on S3. So I added the phrase, hello, I must be going, to one of my document files that I've stored on S3. Now, let me move to our search screen, and I'm going to fill in the search text target as the word going, and I'm going to execute the search, and Storage Made Easy is going to find my document on S3 containing the phrase, hello, I must be going. Now let me show you how you can add comments to a file that's stored on S3 without changing the original file in any way. To add a comment, I find the file I want to add the comment to, and I open up the Comments tab on the Information panel for the file, and I type in the comment that I want to associate with the file. Then to save it, I press the Send button. Now you might be wondering why I use a Send button and not a Save button. I haven't shown you any of Storage Made Easy's team collaboration features, but if you are collaborating with teammates on this file, and they're interested in it, then they will receive the comment as soon as you save it. And that's why it's called a send and not just a save. Finally, I'd like to show you how you can add tag values to a file that is stored on S3. And once we've done that, we're going to loop back and take another look at the search screen, and I'll show you how you can search for the keywords that you've applied to your files. To add tag values to a file that's on S3, find the file, right-click, bring up the tags entry screen, and enter your tag values. If you have more than one, separate them with a comma. Press save and those tags are associated with your file. Now let's take a look at how you can find files based on tag values. We'll go back to our search screen and this time we're going to use the metadata search panel and we're going to put in the value that we're looking for for our tag. In this case it is love song and press the search button and now SME will find your S3 file with that tag value associated with it. So there you have it, 10 cool things you can do with S3 storage and Storage Made Easy's Enterprise File Fabric.